it's not even been a couple of days since we've had the second chapter of Eden Zero and already we have got some spoilers coming out for the next chapter and some important stuff that's going to be uh, shown in this chapter. Some of the stuff that we kind of wanted to see from like the first chapter was like, who is that giant space woman? We're going to be meeting a bunch of the other characters in there. There's a weird little little trait. We seem to be having a rival as well for Rebecca and a lot more is going on. So we're going to be starting off with a, uh, only a few pages have been shown so far for like the Eden Zero um, chapter and all that. But we get to see the front cover, which is it's a nice little one. It's like a little goofy one of like uh, we get to see Shiki just like upside down looking like a goofball like that. He's like, yeah, like, I, I, he's just enjoying himself. He's happy. He's like, you know, this is the best part of my life and all that. I, I'm not stuck on a giant robot like thing. I'm in the Avengers Guild. I mean, the, you know, pretty much, pretty much just the fairy tale guild for the most part. So he's like, he's happy. And it kind of shows that he, he can just control his own grazi. And he's just like, I'm just, I can do it whenever I want and whenever I please. And it just shows off. And then we get showcased uh, one of the brand new characters that we've been meaning to show on there, and that is uh, out of everyone, who is Endless Windy is the best way to put it. Like this, uh, the, at least the, with the design wise and all that, it really does remind me of Winnie. Although I really do like that kind of like her whole like uh, weird space hair, where she's got like the floating kind of ponytail for the most part that's working on there. And from how it seems, is like. How Rebecca is acting in this chapter, where like she seems like she's getting blushed about something, maybe it's like probably she he does something like really embarrassing for the most part, and how she's acting, it seemingly this is like either Rebecca's rival or they they go way back that they have some like kind of old history for the most part, like on there. Uh, one uh, one thing that was weird, at least or if anything, how it was like drawn on the pages and all that. A lot of this presumed, like especially when I first saw her, it's like I thought she was gonna be like this centaur lady, like uh, from all, like, like uh, how it looked like it was like this, uh, like at least anyway how it was drawn and all that with the boots and all that. It was like, uh, wait, is she like a centaur kind of thing or like a a satyr? Like uh, th that's what this weird race and all that. But no, she's just a normal human. We don't know. She she's like an android. We don't know anything a a about her since there hasn't been any slight translation on there. However, one thing that we do notice and all that is like Shiki's kind of being dragged away and all that is she's a fucking pervert. Like, or something, or she gets off to like getting bleeding or like she trips over and she smashes her face in for the most part and like she gets blood and then she gets really excited about something and I'm like, okay. I'm not gonna lie, it's because of the similar face to the one, it, it creeps me out a little bit. I know it's supposed to be there for like a joke, but I'm like, to me, it's like, that's like the little sister of the group kind of face. And I'm like, mm, that's the one kind of like distracting me on there. But I do say like out of all the designs, I kind of like what they're doing with like the design for the most part with her. Like I, like I said, I think there was that like, cool thing with like little hairball thing that she's got going around her. And I just kind of want to know a little bit more about some of the groups. So we definitely did come, uh, get the confirmation that we was going to be meeting some of the characters. One that I was really exciting about is that Rebecca is actually going into the library for like this uh, girl, uh, like, and we get to see a little bit of that space mother, or uh, I'm calling her space, uh, like, uh, uh, Mom Galactus. That's what I'm uh, like, Galactus's mom. That's just who it, uh, like, I'm putting her down as in the moment, and we're finally gonna find out who she is all about and a little bit about her history and the fact that she's just like there, uh, like sitting there and just like, po uh, like pondering now. What I want to know is, I don't is that a live recording of like uh, this woman, or is that just something like you know, like an archive, or is like this is a, a, like a good grand like uh, look at her and all that. Since like she keeps looking at this and like he looks freaked out, like maybe he might know something about this woman for the most part. But it's like the fact of the matter is, it's like she is clearly either going to be a like a main plot point for like this series for the most part like maybe she, like she clearly knows a lot about shiki she knows that i'm saying like she like he's going to be either a demon that like destroys most of the like this universe or that he's going to save it like there's clearly a lot of like a relation between her and also as well like shiki's grandfather like the, uh, the demon king for the most part so where that relationship is and how the two of them meet and how exactly she knows shiki for the most part I want to, like, she could be the person that gave down, like, Shiki's ether gear, or maybe she's the one that came, she's the original byproduct of this, where she's the one that, uh, like, uh, invented this stuff. Like, we still, like, again, like, it's hard to go off with just the Japanese and all that, it's hard to tell, like, on where some of them on there, but as well, I'd like to point out as well, this is, like, straight from the magazine as well, like, if people saw when I 
did the unboxing of all the uh, in zero first issue that I have up there is that yeah you can tell by like kind of the page quality it's like this is just straight from like that they just someone just took the pictures on there got them off the printer like splashed ass on there so we're gonna have to probably wait a while until we get the rest of them but it was like it was a few little sneak peeks and all that and I was surprised we could potentially get this chapter quite early if I was gonna say if we've already just had the uh, like second chapter translated we may get this like maybe in three days two days possibly it depends how fast we can get this out and how fast the translators want to go on there but a lot of these uh, like zero news coming out or fairy tale news like there's a bunch of stuff going on and all that so i kind of want to see what you guys think about the spoilers down below for the most part but that's all for me thanks always for watching and i'll see you guys though next time